Hello, I'm Rachel, the Messy Minimalist. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to give you guys a little extra push of motivation to get rid of your stuff that you've been struggling to get rid of. And this is the best time of the year to do it. And it's not just because it's Christmas and you need to make room for more stuff to come in. It's because you've already been struggling with this stuff and you just need that little extra motivation and push to get rid of it. There's a lot of fun things happening this time of the year. There's a lot of people selling and buying things. There's just something really exciting about this time of the year. And I guess it's probably that holiday spirit. But even still, I'm specifically talking about that weird sentimental stuff that you just struggle to get rid of. Sometimes it's stuff you've had for years and you just can't get rid of it. Why? Why can't I get rid of this stuff? It's so bizarre. For me, most recently, it was a antique toboggan. I know. And a set of briar horses from when I was a kid. I don't even really like horses. Like it's, it's very strange. So we're going to do things just a little bit differently today because this is actually a sponsored video. And normally I don't do sponsorships because I'm in the business of getting rid of stuff and encouraging you to get rid of stuff, not bring more stuff into your house. But I'm doing this video with a partner today because they have an app that actually encourages you and helps give you the means to get rid of more stuff. And it's also totally free. They're an app called Five miles and they're the first on my list of minimizing motivators to get rid of your stuff because sometimes the best motivation to finally free yourself from your stuff is to make money from it if you guys have been following my channel and seeing what I'm all about you would notice that I don't sell a lot of stuff and I do that by design I typically just donate all of it I don't sell a lot of my stuff because I just want to get rid of it I don't have the patience or the time but it's not even just that sometimes the item is just so sentimental you're like I know that that's worth something and if I just donate it how do I even know someone's gonna use it? Maybe it's just gonna end up in a landfill. You know, there's all these questions that you have. I feel like the item is worth something and I just wanna know it's gonna go somewhere. I wanna know someone's gonna use it. Those are the times that I choose to sell items. So again, Briar Horses Antique Toboggan. There's no rhyme or reason what the items are. Sometimes they're just items that I feel like I can't get rid of unless I have some monetary value for them. Thus insert Five Miles app. So part of the reason why Five Miles is such a good app for selling is because not only is it super easy, like you just take a picture, type your description, post it, and boom, it's online. It's more than just that. You can rate people. So if you had a negative transaction with somebody or if you are going on it for the first time and you're just not sure, you can go and see if somebody's had good transactions. If you're selling something, you can see who's buying from you. You can check their profile and see if you feel comfortable with that person. It's like a reverse Yelp. A Yelp for people, I guess. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It keeps people accountable and keeps people honest. For me, that was kind of a big thing that just makes me feel more comfortable is knowing that there is a rating system and that I can see who's trustworthy and who's not. You can also send and receive money online through the app so you don't have to worry about that weird, awkward exchanging of money. But that's a worry. I feel like some people have that worry. Let's all just admit, it's always a little bit awkward when you have to kind of count the money. And then you ever notice too how like on the spot, you all of a sudden can't do math, like incapable of counting when you have somebody watching you. You watch them count it out to you and you're like, okay, great, great, great. One, two, three. Oh wait, hold on, just one second. I need to count. I, I messed up. Okay. The moment that someone's watching you with their money in your hand, you have trouble doing basic math. It's just weird. Or if they try to spring it on you and they suddenly are like, yeah, yeah, I do like it. But now that I see it in person, no, I think it's only worth $10, not 15. That sucks, right? Those are the kinds of things that happen if you don't get an in-app money transfer. You don't have to do the in-app money transfer, but that's probably the most enticing thing, I think, anyway, is just knowing that I definitely have that money and then I feel comfortable letting go of the item. So that's pretty cool. And then aside from that, I think the reason that I like the app maybe the most is that I know my stuff is going to somebody. Like, I even know the person now. They're probably from your community, too. Again, you guys can click the link in my description to download Five Miles in your App Store or in Google Play, wherever you get your apps. So definitely do that and check it out. It's a really great way to sell your stuff and hopefully you'll make a bunch of money like I did and you'll feel good about getting rid of your stuff. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how to use it here. Okay, so basically if you wanna sell something, you just hit sell, you can hit your camera. Let's say I wanna sell this picture over here. I am happy with that picture. I would pick a category. Super awesome thing I'm selling. And I want 
20 bucks for it. And payment, I am totally willing to do 5 Miles Wallet because I like to make money fast. And then you would basically just publish it. So super easy. That is why this is the first of my minimalization motivators for getting rid of your stuff. So the next minimalization motivator that I have is to use Craigslist. And I say Craigslist because it's a good old standby and Craigslist has been around for a long time. The man was the founder of buying and selling online. It's kind of incredible and I just feel like he's owed a little extra love from his wife. Virtual hug from all of us. The motivation there is that you can sell it fast, cheap, not complicated. You can be clutter-free at home, get rid of the stuff that you've been holding on to, and it's like it never happened. It's in a ton of different areas. It's kind of like the analog version of all of these apps that are out there now. It doesn't have all the options that Five Miles does. You don't have to have a smartphone to do it. The fact of the matter is, is that some people still don't do a lot of tech savvy stuff on their phones. Some people prefer the good old computer method. And if that is you, then I definitely would recommend Craigslist to just get on there, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I was an early adopter of Craigslist. I was using it when it was very much kind of unknown and particularly spammy, but the reason that I still do occasionally use Craigslist is because if you price your items at a good price, they will eventually go. So again, my motivation for using Craigslist and why it's number two on my list, no complications, fast, cheap, get it sold. Get it online, get it sold, and be done with it. And the third method is just plain donating your stuff. Truly. <laughs> The reason that this is number three on my list, although perhaps it should be number one, is because you'll get good positive karma. It's great to donate your stuff. It's true, you might have something that's super sentimental that you've been holding on for a long time, even though you don't know why, briar horses, toboggan. Regardless, if you've been holding on to this item or items, maybe now you do need to just go ahead and donate it. Why is this a good time of the year to just donate your stuff? Well, there's a surplus of people shopping at thrift stores right now. Stuff is moving through as opposed to a different time of the year where you might donate something at a thrift store and it might just end up in a landfill. Your stuff just ended up in the dirt. It's awful. I think about this a lot and I'm sure a lot of the stuff that I donate just ends up in a landfill. That's why I end up choosing to sell certain items and not donate them. But in this case, because it is the time of the year where people are out there buying and giving, your item might actually have a chance of getting picked up somewhere. That would be the reason, motivator number three, which is your stuff will have a new home. Someone will love it and use it and you will get positive karma because you donated it and you made a difference in someone's life, hopefully. Those are my three minimization motivators for you. Hopefully you're able to declutter more stuff now than you were before. Maybe you do it for the money, maybe you do it because it's quick and easy, or maybe you do it because you need some good karma. Whichever one you choose, there's one for everybody, and hopefully you guys can move your stuff out of your life and be more clutter-free. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you later.